Greetings and salutations everyone. In this video I'll show you the best technique and tips for colour grading the Mini 2 footage. This video is part of a series where I'll show you the process using Final Cut Pro 10, Adobe Premiere Pro and then DaVinci Resolve. First, let's get started with Final Cut Pro. First thing to do is Command 4, let's bring up our inspector and in the colour section here I like to start with wheels. Let's bring the saturation up all the way. Let's see where we can push it. That looks disgusting. That's okay. Start from the top and we'll work our way down to a halfway point. So before and after. Saturation is okay for now. Bring in the color curves and let's change some contrast. Let's maybe bring down some of the highlights, especially in these areas where the white parts of the houses are, as they are a touch overexposed. So creating this S curve, we can really bring out the brightness and darkness in the shot before and after. It's subtle. Perfect. Okay. What I want to do now is to go back into the wheels and I want to bring up these warm tones. So in the mid tones, let's drag up too much that we can see where we break and just halfway there. We can double click on the puck to reset. But let's bring that up ever so warm here. Now in the shadows, which is the slightly darker areas here, and it will affect the roads, let's bring those shadows up into a more cooler tone. As we can see here, before and then after, we're bringing in more of that cold, concrete feel in the roads and in the pavements, which is quite nice. And let's just raise the shadows up just a touch. Turn that back. Do you like that? It's kind of nice. This clip here is a bit more challenging as we have a very flat, neutral, very boring, very grey tone. I want to separate the sea and the sky. To do that, let's bring up our let's bring up saturation in our wheels, our favourite place to be. This little section here is our mask options. I want to add a shape mask and bring these green circles, our little handles, across that stretch it right out. You just white circle to shape in our mask, and I bring them out off frame and bring this down and use this top red line to feather. Now we're affecting the inside of the mask so what I can do now is bring more of a cool turquoise or a teal look into just the sea. As this was shot first thing in the morning it was very cold and we want to see that in the shot. Click on the outside we can then add opposing tones. So let's make it let's say warmer in the sky where the sunrise is here. Let's go into our curves and let's maybe bring the brightness a touch and add just a bit of contrast for after. Nice, a bit more punchy. Back into the wheels and as we're in the outside, let's see how so nice warm highlights and the mid tones, let's bring it back down to blue. Cool, I like that, so before and after. So adding that shape mask, for this particular shot there isn't very much movement. It still stays in that horizon line, so the sea isn't blending too much into the sky, so we still get that separation. Love you, I like that. So the very last shot, you think you couldn't do too much with that. What I want to do here is make the sky pop a lot more. To do that, we'll go into our colour and we will go and add just a, some fine adjustments, add some saturation and in our curves let's add a bit more brightness and contrast in some of the areas. Let's lift up that dark corner and let's bring maybe down the highlights and retain some of that detail in the sky. Next thing to do is back in the wheels section we'll go to our mask options, add a colour mask and this little eyedropper, if I click on just the warm tones here and drag over, not too much, I can pick just the warm parts. If I hold shift, I can add more instances, more section to my range. If we click view masks, we can see our work as we go. So we can move these sliders over just to really isolate the areas and attempt to feather them out. Now this is just affecting the selection, so I can take the saturation out and it's completely gone, or I can add more of that colour in. 
I can make things even warmer, but I want to bring that more into the reds, a much deeper looming tone. And everything outside of that selection, so the rest of the sky and the sea, we can bring the color up, maybe change some of the brightness just a little bit. And that's it. That's all of our shots color graded, looking the best that they can be. If you like the video and you've actually learned something, then like and subscribe and tell me what you've learned in the comments. Opinions on the grades are always welcome. You will be seeing more videos of color grading Mini 2 footage as I'll be doing Adobe Premiere Pro and then DaVinci Resolve next. Thanks for watching and safe and happy flying. Bye bye.